as you can see, ART on the one hand allowed the testing for hereditary diseases, a possibility highly valued by many. On the other hand, many ethical issues remain in respect to ART and what happens after their implementation. For example, major problems have been debated regarding how to inform children about parent-child relationships in cases of surrogacy and donor insemination, or DI. In the former type of birth, surrogacy, in vitro fertilization or artificial insemination is used to have another woman become pregnant and carry the child. In the latter type of birth, DI, sperm from a non-spousal third party is used. For example, it is now technically possible for a same-sex couple to have children through surrogacy or DI. In such cases, it is necessary to decide whether such births should be socially acknowledged, and if so, who the legal parent is. In addition, some children who are born using DI experience shock when learning the truth of their parentage as teenagers or adults and start to search for their genetic parent. Furthermore, some claim that the sale of sperm and eggs, commercial surrogacy, and savior siblings. This is a topic that appeared in the manga. These amount to treating people like things or commodities. About savior siblings, I recommend a film called My Sister's Keeper, starring Cameron Diaz. In Japan, there is no adequate legal framework governing ART. I think Japan, as well as other countries, need to continue vigorous discussions about the ethics of ART. One could say that both respect for the reproductive freedom and rights of couples and due consideration for the welfare of children are necessary. Thank you for watching and see you next week.